Hey my beloveds, this is Amy from Beloved Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a lemon themed spread for the week of Monday, the 25th Memorial Day. So this is gonna be a super fun summery spread. I found some really cute lemon washi tape I'm gonna use. And then I went through a lot of my different sticker books, color story ones, a horizontal one, and pulled out all the lemon themed stickers that I could find. So I'm excited to incorporate stickers from so many different books. I did go ahead and use these sticker guides. Um, not, I'm not gonna lay them out like this, but it was just a great place to collect the stickers as I went through the books. So that's another way that you can use these. Grab your favorite beverage and we will get started. So I found this really cute lemon washi tape. So I'm gonna take it and cover up this purple section at the top. I've been using a ton of purple in my spreads lately. And with this being such a lemon theme, I thought let's cover that up. I'm still gonna leave the purple that's down along the spine in place, uh, just because that's really hard to cover and I'd have to cut out all the punches. And since that's a darker shade of purple, it actually shows more through the washi tape. So I'm just covering this and then I'm trimming it so that it fits perfectly on there. I'll save this piece to use on the other side also. One trick I like to use when I'm cutting my washi is to take this little ruler that I have and it has a really sharp edge or a really, um, a really fine edge and I just lie it along the straight line and then I rip the washi tape against it and it cuts it perfectly. Sometimes I don't always cut perfectly straight with my little X-Acto knife. So I was a little short with this yellow one, but I'm just gonna trim it down. And then I will use this piece to finish covering the purple. Trim that little extra off. Okay, we have that part done now. This is where I tried, eh, that's not gonna work, too dark. <laughs> so now it is time to start laying down these stickers. So I like to start with some of the bigger ones or the quote stickers. Gonna overlay that on top. Really love how those lemons turned out, they're so cute. One of my favorite sticker books that Happy Planner has is the Rainbow Mega Value Pack. And this was the perfect place for me to find yellow box stickers. I do love to write different things in there. I'm gonna put this Memorial Day sticker down into that box. But they have every single color in there. Sometimes colorful boxes doesn't have the exact tone I need, but without fail, pretty much every single time I found the color I needed in that rainbow mega value pack sticker book. I'll be sure to link to it in the description too, so you guys can check it out if you haven't yet already. So this sticker that I put down on the bottom right page, that's actually from the Horizontal Layout Stickers book. I loved how it was and I love covering multiple days with one sticker, so that one worked out awesome. I'm gonna probably use that for a little to-do list for the weekend. So now I'm gonna start building some layers over here on the left side, put down my little to-do list, and then I used that cute patterned lemon and leaves sticker. I think for this long sticker, I'm gonna put it on Thursday here and I'm gonna use the top part for our schedule that day and then the rest of it as a to-do list. And I'll put another little to-do list on Sunday. I'm finding that like one to-do list on Monday, one towards the middle of the week, and then one towards the end of the week seems to be working pretty well to capture all of my to-dos. And then of course I've got colorful boxes here that I'm gonna use for our various things we have going on. Love this little sunshine and lemonade sticker. It is so cute. And I found a ton of stickers that said squeeze the day. So I'm gonna try to include a couple of those. This little sunshine sticker was perfect to go next to that quote. some more colorful boxes from this rainbow mega value pack I like that they have different shades of yellow too so it adds a little bit more variety so one way I like to use these patterned larger stickers is like a little background for a cluster of other stickers so I'm gonna start building on that I put that little you can do it sticker over there and then added a little lemon over between those other two colorful boxes it kind of ties them together visually so now I'm adding more colorful boxes onto that patterned lemon sticker. I kind of like to stagger them and do some different layering and things. 
I really like how that's coming together over there. Here's another squeeze the day sticker down in that bottom right corner. So these little lemon pieces I'm just going to kind of use to accentuate different areas and make them feel more lemony, if that is a word. <laughs> I guess it is now. And then in the Mega Value Pack rainbow stickers, there's some good little icon stickers that are yellow too. Since there isn't a ton of yellow in most of the other sticker books, I really am finding I'm using a lot of stickers from here. I'm going to take this quote, easy peasy lemon squeezy, which could not be more perfect. I don't want it to be a huge rectangle though, so I'm cut it down at the top and bottom so that I can just kind of layer it over and have it be smaller. So now I'm going to add in a few more of these dots for my to-do list. I do like how they kind of just fill some of the empty space. I do enjoy also having a weekly checklist over here on the left side, so I'm going to use a few yellow disc stickers for that. And then these little burst starburst stickers, those are really cute, so I'm going to put those there. So now I have out the household sticker book, which I will link in the description below too. But they have a whole section of yellow stickers that are just for like different household tasks. So I put a to clean one and then a little garbage can because that's garbage day, which is different for us this week. So I thought it would be good to have that on there to note that. And with that, that is the end of this spread. So I really love how this came together. I actually feel like the purple doesn't distract too much as much as I thought it might. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and all your support as always. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to leave a comment with any questions you have. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.